Hello and thanks for your interest in this screencast. Since Microsoft discontinued their Windows Small Business Server line of products, Sential Server is the only alternative to have a native replacement for both Microsoft Active Directory and Microsoft Exchange in the SMB. This tutorial is one of a series of screencasts where we are going to demonstrate Sential Server capabilities as a native replacement of these Microsoft solutions. We are going to show the different use cases running real examples. In order to do this, we will use virtual machines to deploy these scenarios. In our second scenario, we are going to show how to join our Sential Server to a pre-existing Windows domain. This case is especially interesting because it allows us to maintain our production environment while we start the migration of some services in a way that is totally transparent for the final user. We will overview the replication in the LDAP, DNS and Kerberos systems. This replication will happen in both directions in a very short time, thus maintaining all the domain information coherent between all the domain servers. For this case, we already have a Windows Server with a domain, centraldomain.lan, and this Windows Server is acting as the first domain controller inside this domain. Both Windows Server and Central are in the same local network. Actually, Central Server is acting as the gateway for this Windows Server. Before joining the domain, we have to take into account some considerations, some points to review, which are detailed in the documentation, .sential.org. But most of these points are quite obvious already. For example, the servers have to be in the same time zone. It's important to check that they have exactly the same time for Kerberos systems, certificates, and so on. They have to belong to the same domain, etc. OK. So having this scenario already deployed, we can go back to our Sential Server Interface, Office, Domain, Settings, and in this case, we are going to switch the server role to Additional Domain Controller. We can see here in the form that all the data that we need is quite uh, straightforward to obtain for the system administrator. We need the main controller FQDN, Windows, WinDC the IP address of the main DNS server of this domain, in this case it's the same machine, it's located in one of the internal networks, as we said before, and of course the account for this domain administrator and the password. We will change here. Of course we have a warning that the local LDAP is going to be overwritten by the domain LDAP obviously, and then we will need to save changes and enable the module in case we don't have it enabled already, like I do. When we finish this uh, progress bar, we will be already joined to the Windows domain. Now that the joining operation is already completed, let's go back to our Windows server. If we go to the domain controller's organizational unit, we can already see Sential here as one of the domain controllers for this domain. OK, let's create some example data in the Windows Server domain tree, for example, a new user. Finish and let's create a group as well. Group, for example, marketing. We can join this user to the group that we just created. Okay, we apply the operation. And in the central server, this information will be replicated. It can take like half a minute, two minutes. If we go now to users and computers and explore our LDAP tree, we can see 
the user that was imported from Windows and how this user belongs to the marketing group. The marketing group is here as well. Let's do it the other way around. Let's create a user here in Sential. Some example user. This user was created in Sential, but if we go to the Windows server, refresh here, here we have it. Here we have the user that we created in Sential. So as we just demonstrated, the LDAP information is replicated in both directions in a very short time. Same goes for the DNS system. For example, if we try to resolve Sential sential domain dot lan this is a register that didn't exist in this uh, windows server before but now it's synchronized with the sential dns any dns register that we add here from sential will be replicated in windows and the other way around and now we are going to demonstrate the interoperability of the kerberos system between different domain controllers. We have here this Windows client. We check the Kerberos tickets. We can see that these tickets were offered initially by WinDC. So this computer was joined to the Windows server originally. And for example, we can see here the thieves ticket. And for example, we can see here the LDAP ticket that was offered by WinDC. Now, if we go back to Sential interface, we have configured an HTTP proxy. This HTTP proxy is using single sign-on inside this domain, Kerberos, and we are going to modify the access rules. Now it's open for everybody, and what we are going to configure is that only the users that are created in the LDAP will be able to browse through this HTTP proxy. We save changes. And then if we go back to the client, here we have browser that is already configured to use um, our HTTP proxy. We go to any example page. And as you can see, there was no, no login required to navigate, even if we are using a non-transparent proxy that has user authentication. Actually, if we ask for the list of tickets again, here we can see http slash sential.sentialdomain.lan. So we have a Kerberos system integration and we can deploy some services is one of the domain controllers, some other services in other controller, and all this will be transparent for the user. Authentication will happen under the hood. Actually, if we go to the logs here and explore the HTTP logs, we can see that this navigation is associated with the user inside the domain.